<clears throat> What's up, everybody? Like I said, I know one, I'm a few minutes late. I'm, I'm over here having technical difficulties. Like my, my dang on tablet and everything does not want to work. Okay, now it wants to work. See? The, the first trend topics of fucking 2016. And this is what happens. Not to mention, <clears throat> if you guys were not on blab with us last night blab was interesting to say the least a lot of crazy topics we had a uh, an insane time but let's just say when that was done i literally woke up like a little over an hour ago so but anyway <clears throat> trending top well tabloids are trending topics with t i just tied it 2016 because uh what's going on mark anthony because i did not have a lot of time to sit here and do all the intricate putting a long title and everything again like I said because I'm already a few minutes behind so with all of that being said what's going on <clears throat> we're just gonna for lack of better phrase and just like jump straight into this and I'm still trying to get my still trying to get my tablet and everything to work I right, so <clears throat> let's start out like I say you guys know that I always like to do any uh, prayers and condolences first I forgot to talk about this last week, but first I want to, you know, lift up in prayer Miss Janet Jackson. Uh, I said she had to cancel a lot of her um, unbreakable tour dates because uh, she uh, has a uh, surgery that she's going to be uh, undergoing. And uh, a lot of people are, you know, in their feelings about that because, you know, everybody was saying that she was going to cancel tour dates and then the fact that she's not sharing what her uh, medical conditions are, but at the same exact time, I should. I really do believe everybody should be happy that she's at least saying that you know she's canceling it because of these set reasons. So, but let's uh, keep Janet lift up in prayer, and this thing is about to go off for like the next minute. Anyway, um, found out about this uh, just recently. Um, Miss uh, Natalie Cole passed away at the uh, age of sixty-five. Uh, um, she um, has a. Uh, <clears throat> battle liver disease and even hepatitis uh, C and um, you like the album I haven't listened to it yet so I actually need to get it I actually need to listen to a couple of albums but um, Miss Natalie uh, Cole um, like I said you know one of the living R&B legends and um, it's like a yeah this tab is about to piss me off but a uh, like I said, fantastic. So, you know, great vocalist. For those of you who do not know who she is, I recommend that, you know, you go and, you know, get your life. That's some good old school music. It'll do something good to your soul. And uh, also, let's lift up prayers. Like, this literally just happened within the last 24 hours. So, uh, to Mexico, uh, Mexico Mayor Gisela Moda, hopefully I'm saying her name right, um, she was uh, murdered Saturday after one day uh, being uh, um, elected as mayor. So she uh, was uh, murdered uh, only after taking office for one day. So, I mean, it's very, very sad. And like I said, I, I don't have any details on it, but uh, it is a sad, it's, that's all I can say. It's, it's just, it's sad, you know. And it, it doesn't make it any easier, and y'all know I don't talk about politics on here, but it doesn't make it any easier for Hillary, you know, to have that happen, you know, in Mexico, and this being a female mayor, and, you know, just think about Hillary trying to be the first female president, so, sad. Alright, so now that we're done with that, let's go ahead and uh, jump into entertainment news, which is what y'all mostly come here for, so... Um, Chris Brown allegedly had an incident, I believe it was, yeah, it was in Las Vegas, and I'm not really talking about this heavily, but it's what he said after that, but, um, he had an event, apparently it was a don't bring your cell phones type of an event, and people did bring cell phones, and, uh, actually a lady brought her cell phone, and she is accusing Chris Brown of, um, hitting her in the eye, and even though, uh, you know, she's made such a big deal, she never went to the hospital which is awkward, which is weird. I mean, and of course, Chris Brown is denying it. His people are denying it. Well, following this incident, <laughs> following this incident, he uh, posted on his IG uh, pretty much that he is going, he is cutting off some of his friends. He is cleaning up his crew. 
Now, I'm sitting back just like, okay, we have another stunt by Mr. Chris Brown. And my, and here's the thing. I know that I'm older than Chris Brown. I, I got it. But this is something you learn way, 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 way back when. First and foremost, so now you want to clean up your friends when, you know, your friends should have been, you know, the main ones sitting here telling you, don't do this shit over here with Karuchi. You know, hey, bro, calm the fuck down. I mean, granted, he a grown man, he gonna do what he want to do. But you mean to tell me a lot of his friends ain't try to snatch his ass up and keep him from, you know, being in his, and I'm gonna say it, light skin fucking feelings? You know, like, you should have cut a lot of those friends off a long ass time ago. <clears throat> and then your crew would not have allowed you to do a lot of the dumb fuck shit that you have done. You know what I'm saying? Uh, things that have gotten him in trouble and could potentially, you know, destroy and sabotage his damn career. So it takes this fucking incident. You know, you sitting here want to flaunt your house, your money, you all this other stuff, putting this shit on, you know, social media networks. Yeah, you surprised your ass got robbed. And it was even said that that was an inside job, but you still didn't let your friends and what not go. It's not that he needs new friends. One, I understand he wants to sit here and make his circle. Here's the thing, y'all. Also, on some real shit. You know, I've said for myself, 2016 is going to be a year of branding. And I know there are other people who have also uh, taken that and they're going to run with it too, which is a good thing. But 2016 also needs to be a year of you. Okay. And for some people, it's probably going to mean being selfish. Because I did say, you know, for my New Year's resolution, I use that word very lightly, is, you know, I didn't necessarily say it in these words, but I'm just saying how me being more selfish, me learning, you know, me being better to myself because I'm better to everyone else. But this guy right here, I put everyone and everything before this guy. Now, my, don't get it twisted. I love being by myself. I love me some me. <clears throat> okay, I enjoy my company rather than mostly us, he needs to learn how to be by his damn self. He needs to learn how to enjoy his company. He needs to be with those different, you know, light-skinned boys in his motherfucking head. And they all need to sit here, hold hands, sing kumbaya, call on the Lord, and get some peace amongst them. He needs to be at peace with himself. And then it's only then when he journeyed, and I'm giving y'all some, I'm giving y'all some, you know, nuggets here. I hope y'all pick it up. If he can dig inward and find peace with himself and get to understand who Chris Brown is, it is only at that point that he will be able to look out and see who his true friends and whatnot are and truly have a small fucking circle. And I'm leave it at that, don't Chris Brown. Mm. So let's talk about somebody throwing their ass in a circle. Because everybody in their damn feelings about well not everybody, people in their feelings about this. I don't understand why. So uh Star Jones, for the record I never saw her for, but uh she was in a restaurant apparently a uh, a song came on, so she was in the middle of the restaurant, got her ass on the table, and uh, for lack of a better word, started go-go dancing, and, you know, she breaking that shit down, you know, doing her little thing and shit, and it got to the point where security pretty much walked over there and uh, told her pretty much for your safety and the safety of others, we're going to have to ask you to step down, and so many people are in a, you know, feelings about it, my thing is this, Okay, well, she is an older woman. She decided to get her ass on the table when she wanted to, you know, drop it low, pick it up slow, roll it all around, throw that ass in a circle. I mean, now, mind you, I will say, you know, in a public place such as this, and I, I was uh, <clears throat> under the impression that it was a prestigious restaurant. Like, okay, say that shit for the club. But my thing is this, get it how you live. Get it now. That's a hand something y'all need to understand now, especially with that good music. You know, don't say and some of y'all get your, and you feel as I don't care. Some of y'all don't know about good music. Some music, especially that throwback music, when the shit come on, it go, it takes over your body, and you sit here, and you go to another motherfucking world, and don't even know how the fuck your ass got that, okay, you know, like my mom, I probably shouldn't say this on camera, uh, I was playing some oldies, and I ended up playing, um, uh, Shirley Murdoch's As We Late, my mother got lost in that damn song. And I'm looking at my mama, and I'm looking at her like, is so-and-so really my daddy, or is it this one over here? Like, literally, like, when I say she lost herself in the damn song, that's what I'm saying. There's some music where you will lose your damn self, and then when the song over, come back to just like, oh, shit. So what I'm saying is, you grew up on, I know I grew up on old school, too, so there's a good chance that whatever song came on, it probably took Star Jones away, and she decided that, hey, I'm going to throw my ass in the circle, and you know what? Hey, oh, that's your song? All right, now. 
and she threw that ass in the circle. My whole thing is this, well, shit, let her fucking do it. That's just how I look at it. I really don't care. You know what I'm saying? If this celebrity wants to get up on the table in the middle of a, uh, <laughs> caught up in the moment now, you know, if she want to sit here and do this in the restaurant, let her fucking do it. You know what I'm saying? And again, people get so invested in people in celebrities' lives. Like, I'd be the first one to tell a motherfucker, I got a motherfucking life. I don't give a fuck what you do. Okay. Very. I shit. I've, I've been told since I was nine years old, I had an old soul in me. So. All right, moving on. Miss K. Michelle, I have three things to talk about in reference to her. First thing, you guys know that we are in the new year, and I didn't say this in the very beginning of the video, but happy, blessed 2016 to everyone. Glad to see that everybody made it back. One, or well, one. But uh, January 25th, we know is going to be a ratchet ass Monday on VH1 because, of course, we're going to have. <laughs> there you go, old so. Uh, we all know that there's Love and Hip Hop, uh, New York. Well, following that is going to be uh, Stevie J and Jocelyn in Hollywood. And there's also going to be K Michelle, My Life. Season two. That's January twenty fifth. So when K Michelle her uh, season two show comes back, but it's also rumored that she's going back to Love and Hip Hop ATL. And I'm trying to figure out why. I mean, granted, her uh, my life really isn't all that. Well, hello, hello, isn't all that exciting? I mean, it's something for me to watch, and it's nice to see her. Yeah, I know a lot of ratchet, but it's nice to see her in a different light. I didn't mind it. But, uh, mm -hmm, Ratchet Monday, y'all, I'm telling y'all. Well, well, here's the thing. I mean, by virtue of what I do, I will be watching. I may not necessarily review Steve J and Jocelyn and K. Michelle, but I'm definitely going to watch it, you know. And, of course, I'm doing Love of Hip Hop anyway, so I still got to finish doing that. <clears throat> but I got a side I heard. Like, you have your, it'll be different if she had stayed on ATL the whole entire time while doing her own separate show. But the fact that you're going back to this and you were one of the same ones who had a lot of negative shit to say about Mona Scott, but now you're back on the platform, not to mention um, the whole little, I forget what award thing they did on VH1, but how she gave props to Mona, but was the same one to this Mona. You know what I'm saying? I, I really got to look at K. Michelle crazy. So how do y'all feel about K. Michelle going back to love and hip hop ATL? Because also real shit is not like, I mean, granted, she had those one liners and I enjoyed her realness. Like when she like, Whoa, hoo, hoo, this bitch is shaking the table. I'm sorry, I, I was just like, that shit was funny to me. But at the same exact time, I mean, she ain't got hands. She does she ain't got hands. Uh, like I said, if, if y'all were on Blab with us last night, Much Love said it best, the fact that she's like that she throws stuff before trying to hit somebody that shows you you ain't got hands. You know, if you if you quick to throw something instead of throwing, you know, so. And the last thing I want to talk about about Miss K. Michelle is she has gotten a, uh, oh, hold on. I mean, if she want to make that bread, it is what it is. But what I'm getting at with Kay Michelle is how can you diss this platform, Love and Hip Hop ATL, diss the platform, diss Mona, then turn right back around and lift this woman up with praise, and now you're back on the show. Again, it, it's something about that I just don't get. But anyway. K. Michelle has had a uh, butt reduction about damn time. You know, like I said it. She she looks different, but some of the same. I think it's she's probably still a bit swollen. I don't know, but um, a lot of people trying to figure out why she did it, and I'm thinking it might have been for a gimmick. Cause you guys think about when she first came out, she was trying to do the hair. If you guys really peeped that. But if you think about it, you know, Lil' Kim did the different color blonde wigs way back when, so did Mary J. But Nicki Minaj came on the scene. I'm not really trying to talk about her. But she does a lot of the wigs and everything. I'm thinking K. Michelle probably got her ass enlarged in such a way where it's just like, okay, maybe this can be my way to separate myself from the other people rather than just standing your ass up on stage and, you know, singing for your life. I don't know. But she has gotten the butt reduction. And it was one of those where... I was still trying to figure out why she even got her ass enlarged in the first place. You know, I'm hoping, well, actually, there's really no good reason, but I'm hoping that it wasn't because of, you know, um, like a self-esteem issue. I really hope it wasn't that. <clears throat> 
but you know she's getting back i guess we could say to the okay michelle so let's see what happens from there so i'm gonna need y'all input on this let's 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 talk about some messy shit yeah i'm wanted attention so keisha Knight pulliam she's now engaged to ed hartwell now, what is so juicy about this is she has been linked to Big Tigger for years. I think at least 10. But Ed Hartwell is the ex-husband of former love and hip-hop star who is now Hollywood diva star Lisa Wu. Does anybody else not get seen? Does anybody else not see that this is a little bit <clears throat> suspicious? Because you was with Big Ticket for all these years, y'all don't get married, but you are with, you know, Ed Harwell for a short period of time, and now y'all engaged. Mm, mm, mm. And I mean, you never know. It could be because she's madly in love with him, though she was madly in love with Tigger, or maybe it might be because, uh, if, did I not say Real Housewives of Atlanta? If I didn't, that's what I meant, Real Housewives of Atlanta. <laughs> but, um, you know, maybe it's because um, she probably wanted to get engaged to ticket and it didn't happen. Cause like, and then, but the, cause you know, some people where it's just like, okay, well, I won this with this person, so if it's available with the next, I'ma just jump on it. Sometimes it's just a, uh, you know. Look what you could have had. I don't know. But it seemed like she moved on fairly fucking quickly. So I'm going to see how this develops. Now, if Lisa Wu is smart, even though this ain't got shit to do with her, she might want to incorporate this into her Hollywood diva storyline because I hear they finna talk about the fucking white sister yet again. Y'all see it got quiet, right? I told y'all they come back with this fuck shit. I'm, they might get one review out of me, and that's it. I'm, I'm not finna sit here and waste my time with them talking about a bullshit ass script that never should have would have been here. I, I ain't got time. I ain't got time now. Mm, I know, I know. I uh, I think the show did get uh, renewed. I think they're actually in the process of uh, filming it. So, I mean, we'll see what happened. I mean, but I, I can't. <laughs> so from the south side, all right. Like I said, I know, I know you reps the south side. You know I reps the west side. It is what it is. But, but you know we can love on each other. Okay, so now I want to talk about um, just a little bit of six hours and fifteen news ever so slightly. I know we get people in their feelings, but that's okay. Like I said, we all can agree to disagree over here. So we all know everything that is happening with Bill Cosby, and I'm not really here to talk about that. But I'm still trying to figure out how is it that these are instances. Oh, I know. I know nothing but shout out love. But how is it that these instances. Now, y'all know I'm not really big into conspiracy theories, but that's exactly what this is with him. But these instances happen, you know, nine to ten years ago and further on. But we're dragging him and his name and his uh, legacy through the fucking mud, right? For him having sexual relations with grown ass women. Okay. <clears throat> but Jerry Fogle can sit here and play with the booty holes of teenage girls. <clears throat> can play with the booty holes of teenage girls. Multiple can sit here and pimp out teenage girls to go get other teenage girls so you, you you go tell your friends tell your friends and bring them on back and play with their motherfucking booty holes because <clears throat> i'm trying to figure out how many payouts happened with jared fogel <clears throat> they quickly got his ass in jail and made it to where they stopped talking about it but this is some shit that has happened recent and within recent years <clears throat> the shit with Bill happened in because the recent case just reached the 10 year mark, right? Yes, 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 they did. <clears throat> yes, they did. So they're also helping in the whole committing of adultery, right? Again, and I'm not here to sit here and, you know, try to sit here and, you know, lift Bill up because like I said Bill should have kept the shit in his pants, okay? 
<laughs> Slowly trying to kill him locally. You know what? Maybe just maybe. Well, well, here's the is like I'm not really trying to like relive the blab last night because I said some of this on there, but I mean, but again, here's the thing because <clears throat> you have that, <clears throat> but you have this guy literally fucking little girls. So, so a man that sat here and had sex with you know adult women, this right here, we're going to sit here and like hype this up, drag this on. This is going to be on every news station left and right, but we're not going to sit here and talk about <clears throat> uh, Squeaky Jones is going to upload that blast. So like I say, you don't have to worry about it. She's actually going to upload that. But we're not going to talk about this boy playing with these uh, little girls' booty holes. <clears throat> this is what I'm saying, like, and because and, my whole thing is this. I'm not saying these women, even though I don't believe all of them, you know, got raped and whatnot, because I believe some of their asses consented. We're so concerned about these adult women, but we don't want to sit here and worry about these little girls. What about the Douglas? What about all these people playing with little fucking children? <clears throat> right? But we want to sit here and talk about these adults. But we're saying fuck the children. <clears throat> we want to sit here and we want to be, you know, oh, let's pray for Charlie Sheen. We want to pray for somebody that knowingly has a uh, deadly uncurable disease giving it to women intentionally going in raw intentionally and they not knowing <clears throat> and now you're sitting here you know convicting a woman to have a same life threatening disease that you have but you want us to sit here and pray for this motherfucker when he pretty much just you know put a uh, time stamp on someone really <clears throat> But we're not gonna sit here and you know drag him through the mud. <clears throat> and then we have Mark, Sa um, Sa I think it's Sailing, either Sailing or Sailing, the guy that played uh, Puck on Glee. You know he has just been caught with child pornography. So what's the chances that this, this is gonna be a you know wham bam thank you ma'am liggity split and we ain't gonna hear shit else about it? <clears throat> this is all, all all that I want y'all to do. <laughs> It's just be a little bit privy to the bullshit that goes on. And again, it's like we're hype, we're, we're hyping something up. Because the reality is, even though they are doing everything they can to tear down one man, I guarantee you, if people wasn't tuning in for the fuck shit and they saw the bullshit for exactly what it was, at some point it would die down real fucking quick. That's all I'm saying. Moving on. <clears throat> so we're almost done y'all just got a couple more things and I'm gonna let y'all go God, I need to try to get my motherfucking hair cut because I know y'all see I need to shave the hair is looking rough as shit what what, what who are you talking about what about I, oh shit and I'm about to forget that I got some shit on my damn tablet hopefully you guys can uh see some of the clips that i want to show okay so we're actually not done done yet okay so i know a lot of <clears throat> um just about and i actually did say this on blab last night is that um you know for most uh black people in that realm and the entertainment industry and whatnot it's one of those things where it's like if you have a past if you have a pass, it will be used against you. And if you are not playing by the rules, they are quick to use that against you. If not use it against you, they are quick to sit here and put you into a situation that's going to cause you to bow out gracefully. If not necessarily be the end of your motherfucking life. I'm just saying. I'm not saying, just saying. I even said on that, and it, it's not really that I was trying to make this a prediction. <clears throat> But if there, if we had to vote on who would be the next one they did it to that didn't play ball, it would be Steve Harvey. That's all I'm gonna say. But anyway, <clears throat> a little Real Housewives of Atlanta news. So we all know that I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this past episode, Kenya had went on a date with her trainer Matt, right? Well, a lot of people had a lot to say about that. Of course, Kenya had her bit to say. Well, pictures have surfaced of uh, Kenya and Matt on vacation in the Dominican Republic so there's a good chance they might actually be a couple but I but we all know like I said the blogs will talk so we will see more if those two are truly really uh coupled up <clears throat> all right 
Let's talk about a little bit of self-hate. You know what? She probably did. She probably did. But hey, I mean, if she got if she if she got the points to do it. I'm just saying, I mean, shit, we already know fake drip buying the dick. We know that uh candy buying the dick <clears throat> and buying the pussy too. Shit, she go, you know, talk to her bedroom kid and fuck the candy. She gonna she gonna go in on the bedroom kid in the night. I and I can't wait to see what the fuck she say to her, but you know. Mm-hmm. And I ain't got a cup over here because I'm a show gonna take a sip on something, but uh, this next female, I don't know how to say her last name, but, you know, I think it's Largories, Hori, Scurries, however the fuck you say her name. She posted a picture up on IG, and I don't know if it was, uh, like, um, edited to kind of show that it was, like, bleach, but her hair is bleach, bleach blonde. <clears throat> her skin is uh, lighter than ever. And the caption is, I am not black. I am American. I was born in America. I was not born in Africa, therefore I'm not African. Africans are not African Americans. Girl from Save uh, by the Bell, yes. That girl. <clears throat> now, Yeah, she's crazy. I, I think that's what we can chalk it up to. So first we have, we, we know she, she has something. Because I mean, first we have Raymond Simone with her antics. We have, let's give her a pass. Okay, I'll be nice. Okay, I, I'll, I'll, one of the few times y'all will hear me say this, I will be nice. So I'm gonna let it go. So let's get on to no 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 I, I will be nice just this once okay so let's talk about Meek Mill too late too late I already moved on so Meek Mill so this individual he has um blamed his parole officer for his latest trouble allegedly I I done already moved on no yeah look look at that. When I try to behave, y'all see how y'all do me when I try to behave. Let 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 me behave now. So Meek Mill is blaming his parole officer for his uh latest troubles. Now, um like I said, I will say that a lot of this is allegedly because like I said, I am not one hundred percent sure if this was him, if he truly said this, but you know, again, I just report what I get. So from uh, page six, it says she keeps showing up to his community service. So he's not the one that actually is saying this, which is not common. A source said she has 100, I'm sorry, 122 other cases, but she has it out for him. Probation is supposed to be a rehabilitative thing, but she would do anything to keep him on probation. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. First and foremost. If the parole officer wants to do whatever he or she wants to do, that is his or her fucking prerogative. And that's one. No idea. <laughs> that's one. Two, it doesn't matter how many fucking cases he have because she could have, you know, 300 cases and all of her other, you know, uh, clients or whatever you want to call them, they might be doing the right fucking thing. That's two, three. Wasn't his ass already on probation? You know? I mean, actually, to be honest, he is still on, like, he was on probation. He is still on probation. They just have a tighter clause on him because he's not, like, he's restricted until next month when he will actually pretty much get trialed for his dumb shit, the fuck shit, okay? And the reality is, you know, while whoever this source is is trying to paint this P.O. to be whatever, maybe, just maybe, this P.O. is probably trying to look out for this sorry motherfucker. Okay, has the, I know double secret probation. Sources claim Meek and Underwood have a history, though she won't acknowledge personally knowing the rapper before taking his case. She's from his neighborhood, and he had an altercation with her cousin Koo when they were younger, said a, a source. I, I know, I know. We're told Meek. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. We're told 
uh, Mills been trying to get her removed from his case ever since. Now, um, this is a, uh, maybe, but here's an example of grown ass people not being able to own up to their shit and fess up to their shit. He has been blaming everyone for 2015 being a bad fucking year. He blamed Drake for not promoting his album and then he got buried by a singing motherfucker. You know, he wants to sit here and blame all these different people, yet it's just like, bruh, just fucking look in the mirror, okay? Just, just, just look in the mirror. You know, do like Michael Jack. Like Michael Jack said, I'm looking at the man in the mirror. I'm asking him to change it. Come on now. Just just own up to your shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, he need to do what Iggy Zay did. Okay, actually, we all need to put his ass in timeout. No more Twitter. No more IG. No social media. He need to go on the Daniel Fast version, and we will call this a social media diet. Just like, just stay off social media. You need... Your ass need to be motherfucking ghost. You need to be gone so motherfucking long we forget your ass exists. Lord. It ain't safe in the world full of dumb bitches, y'all. I tell y'all. So I'm going to see if I can play this. Nobody blame but yourself. So I'm going to see if I can play this. Because apparently uh, we got people playing trap music in the church. And um, acting a complete, utter fucking fool now i'm gonna see if i can play it if i can't play it then i guess i can let y'all hear it because it is like it's one of the things where it it's getting to the point where it is sad and like i said y'all already know my background it well right now it's Judaism. i was born christian like i said my mother's a baptist my father's catholic you know so Ooh, I don't know if I'm, I don't think I can have, wait, hold oh, on. Let's see if I can find it now. But, um, it, it's sad because people are truly still playing with God. And it's, it's saddening to me because regardless of, uh, I'm trying, I'm trying to see if I can pull it up. If not, then I'll try to <clears throat> post it to, uh, my Facebook fan page and I don't think that I can play it ah I so I can't play it what I'll do is I'll post it to my Facebook uh, fan page and you guys will be able to look at it there but you got them uh, getting crunk in church uh, semi choreographed music and bet you can't read the Bible like me Again, I understand, you know, trying to reach people where they are. But at the same exact time, it's like, how long are we going to continue to sit here and play with God? I mean, it, it, it's crazy, y'all. People, people don't keep on playing with the Lord. You know, like I said, we don't know when the end going to come, you know, regardless of what we believe. But I really do believe that for everybody who is, you know, playing with God, regardless of what religion we belong to, they're going to have to answer for that, for all these different people that they lead astray. And if I can just say this, y'all know, I'm like, coming on here, on here, you know, trying to give y'all a little spirit and soul, but damn it, I'm going to give y'all just a little bit. <clears throat> I'm not saying, you know, just take whatever BS comes in your life, but I know a lot of people try to figure out why is it that wrong people and evil people have so much um, good stuff happening to them. And I understand we all want heaven on earth, but here's the reality. We have to remember that a lot of these people, all they want is the money. All they want is the fame. All they want is the gratification. All they want is to be lifted up. Many of them, they are living in their heaven right now, okay? And we can let them have that because, again, they're living in their heaven. And this heaven for them is only temporary. Because when they die, the afterlife is eternal. Which means that all the sins they paid for, they're going to have to deal with when they, uh, you know, give up the ghost. And I understand that most of us, y'all, <clears throat> that we really don't want to acknowledge what I'm about to say. But here's the thing. For me, if I have to pay for my sins here, 
to have everlasting, you know, eternal glory and bliss on the other side. I will sit here and I will deal with whatever demons, whatever devils, whatever I got to deal with. I will pay for every sin here. If that means when I give up the ghost, that I ain't got to sit here and worry about none of it. Because my whole thing is that this right here is temporary. I'm looking towards the, the everlasting. And some of us, we need to sit here and remember that we're not working for the right now. I understand some of us, we want to be happy here. It is what it is. I got it. I got it. But again, you know, like I said, you know, in mess, there's a message. At test, there's testimony. You know, got to remember that. And that's all I'm going to say. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get off my high horse. I said, I understand it's Sunday morning. And like I said, y'all didn't come over here to get the word. That That's that's what, you know, church and even a reverend them for. Mm-hmm. Let me see if I can get the other <clears throat> video to play. If not, then I'm going to end with what, uh, you know, I guess the good and then I'll send you guys on your way. Because, like I said, y'all y'all done got me up in here having, you know, uh, tabloids and trending topics with T sermons. And y'all you know, know that's not why I, <laughs> I come on here. I come over here on here to dish the dirt. <clears throat> not to sit here and give y'all that Sunday morning inspiration. All right, now. Okay, so. I think I might be able to play this video. I don't know how it's going to show up. If it doesn't show up, just watch it if you guys haven't seen it i've seen it already i don't i think this is the full video i'm hoping it's a full video uh james colwell had already talked about it in his video uh racism is alive and well so i just want you guys to see this because i i, I want to have a little bit of dialogue hold on Let's see if i can get it to play okay oh shit hold on Oh yeah. Just trying to connect. Yeah. Take my tax dollars too. Or do you, or, or, have, you, have you actually, you know, done something with your life? Have you, have you had, had any kind of a job? <laughs> or this, it, it's like this, it, this chip right here. What'd what? you say? Yeah, chip. Fucking, a fucking nigger right here with a fucking mop on his head. Oh, oh, you need to get out of here. here. You need to get out of here. Oh, I don't give a fuck. He's milking my, my, my fucking tax dollars. So, <clears throat> there's more, and what I will do is either A, when I upload this to YouTube, I will either um, embed this video into the actual video, or <clears throat> I will leave a link for you guys to watch it. <clears throat> Very sickening. Very. But at the same exact time, we cannot sit here and pretend as if, <clears throat> in general, racism does not exist. Even amongst us, it exists. All right, because I know we all belong to certain groups and whatnot, and we all hear what people say. And a lot of times we just play it off just like, oh, this person is playing. It's very alive and well. Again, even with the whole Steve Harvey incident, uh, after he, you know, the whole Miss Universe thing and crowned the wrong one, and he's being called porch monkeys, you know, and all types of, yes. It, the gorilla sounds sticky to the limp. Well, here's the thing. The one thing with this individual is no one there was exempt. Calling it, calling all you know, everyone else hippies, calling the black guy nigger, and even a chimp making gorilla sounds. It's one of those things where it's just like it is alive and well, but at the same exact time, you know, we need not sit here and because like I said, I'm not <clears throat> trying to say let's rise up. I'm not saying that. Let's not be dumb. Let's not be blind to what exists. I'm not saying turn a blind eye to it, 
but let's not be blunt. Let's not act as if it doesn't exist. Now, I, it's never happened to me per se. Hold on, wait. Back up. It has. I'm not even going to talk about that. It has, but not necessarily like this, but it does exist. So to end this video, on a good note, on a positive note, unfortunately, there will be some division, unfortunately. I know. And it's one of those things where I don't even want that to like be accepted as a truth. But <clears throat> for all of you who, uh, like I said, do not know, like I said, we did have the panel last night. We actually had several over the last two weeks. There was the uh, Christmas edition. Like I said, that one is up on my YouTube channel. We had uh, the New Year's Eve edition. Uh, the Get View was supposed to upload that one. But she uh, was having difficulties downloading the video, so she asked me to just go ahead and upload it. And we had one last night. And the one last night, again, <clears throat> it was a plethora of topics. It got hot and heavy at one point. But I think what I love the most about the Blab last night is that, um, yes, that's the one, uh, is <clears throat> the men, we bowed out gracefully. And we let the ladies take the stage and to have four beautiful black women four shades of well i mean that's the title of the panel you know but to have four beautiful black women four shades of beauty four shades of strength on screen to have tiki to have much love from ky to have squeaky jones to have lady nika <clears throat> all four of them on one screen on one platform you know what i'm saying and again having the ability to show unity and you know the show was coming together like it was a beautiful moment like i said there will be more to come you know if you guys are not subscribed to the other people especially if you're not subscribed to my sister tiki go ahead over there and show her some love and like i said i mean there's much much more to come so that is all that i got you guys <laughs> i know all y'all favorites now <sighs> look look, look. I don't know who had the worst. I don't know who did it worse. If it was, you know, Lady Nika going after him or if it was uh James, you know, I don't I don't know who had the worst now. Nah. I'm sorry, um store uh is that Stormy Monday? Can you say it again? I missed uh the first thing that you uh posted. I know you said that you were new. I, I didn't see what you posted before that. Wait. <clears throat> Okay. Lady Nika definitely. <laughs> well, I mean, like I said, that <clears throat> that was great. So, I mean, you guys can ex expect another. Oh, um, we're talking about, uh, like I said, there is a group of uh, us YouTubers. Uh, we're called The Panel. <clears throat> and we're, pretty much we uh, come together and what we do is... <laughs> <laughs> had you die uh one of us we pretty much host like a blab session and then we get other youtubers to come on and whoever is hosting that particular blab pretty much holds the conversation make sure that it stays in a generally good direction you know and it gives you know various youtubers the opportunity to come together because again you know more often than not we're all on our individual platforms and then from there <clears throat> you know we pick somebody from that session to upload it to their channel and it gives that person you know the ability to get you know people flocking over there and even with last night you know uh tiki 44 i think she has a little bit over 500 subscribers just being over there alone i know people went over there to check her out when we did the one on new year's eve just read my book one you know she doesn't have a lot of subscribers her actual <clears throat> her previous account actually uh got taken down by youtube because they were doing that whole little merger with google but after that blab, a lot of people went over there to support her. So it's just a way to, you know, like, just kind of help everybody out. We all come together, have a good time. Because, you know, contrary to what people believe, YouTube is a big ocean. It's room enough for everybody. Everybody can eat. And, you know, like I said, with the group that I'm part of, you know, like I said, cause like I, said I, we love, I love everybody. But I do have, like, my core group. Um, like I said, well, like I said, we're all on Blab. Um, if you want to find me on YouTube, because from there you can see everybody else, uh, my uh, YouTube name is Spilling All the Tea. And from there, you'll be able to find the Blabs that we did. Uh, like I said, the last two I've already uploaded, Squeaky Jones, she's uploading the one from last night. <clears throat> Oh, she, oh, she got a, a fresh 100. 
But see, here's the, but that is the purpose. I know a lot of people were probably looking at the panel and probably getting the wrong idea of what we were trying to do. Because, you know, I know a lot of people think like, oh, we're trying to use other YouTubers to, you know, like heighten up. And that's definitely not the case. Because what we're trying to do is we're trying to, you know, oh, no problem. We're trying to create it to where we all can come together. And we all build up the next, we all enrich the next. Because, I mean, here's the reality. If we really, if if it was really a petty type of issue, she's cool. I love Tiki. She is cool. She's like a big sis for me. But if we really wanted to be, like, real funky and real phony, we would keep it, you know, segregated to you can only have this many subscribers or more to, like, you know, be a part of the discussions. And it's not like that. Okay. <laughs> But, you know, just that whole thing, just giving everybody the ability to come together and we just have a good time. YouTubers do, I mean, but you do have some, um, I mean, it, it, but I mean, there's beefs over here. There's all this, you know, backbiting and, you know, crabs in the barrel type mentalities with other people. But I'm just saying, like, with the panel, I know a lot of people were kind of like looking at us crazy and not really understanding exactly what we're trying to do and we're pretty much just trying to you know just come on and have discussion whether it be talking about trending topics or even just youtubers who ain't never laid eyes on each other just coming together and just literally shooting the shit and you know even with the um christmas vibe we did that myself james lady nika <clears throat> and even our uh, much love slid on through, you know, we did that just as, okay, here's something. So while people are cooking for Christmas, cleaning, driving, whatever case may be, they just have something, you know, good to listen to. And in the process, you got to see Lady Nika and James Cole will bury somebody. You feel what I'm saying? And, you know, the one for uh, Christmas Eve, just like, hey, you know, um, Ashley, are, are you talking about Ashley Miller? Is that who? Because, I mean, here's the thing. I mean, we just started this out, and it's one of those where we're trying to leave it to where... Because, like I said, I mean, we're down for... Yes, whenever she wants to jump in, I mean, I know the one we did last night... Because y'all know I love Alexander Rogers. He jumped in the room. He just didn't, you know, uh, pop up. Like, I need to touch bases with him and see if he would be willing to, you know, be on one of the blabs with us. Like... Here's the thing, if she's down to do it, you know, it's it's out there. It, it's truly out there. Like, it should, like, we're just trying to, you know, just create something good and just trying to keep the support and everything else going, you know. And like I said, hope, and like I said, I'm hoping and praying that, you know, it doesn't get taken the wrong way and that, you know, and, and you know, I'm just put this out there right now. And I do, like I said, y'all already know how I am when it comes to the Bible and the Old Testament. Again, no weapon form shall prosper. You know, God will make our enemies our footstools. And like I said, whatever somebody comes at us with, it's going to be paid back to them tenfold because they're going to sow to the wind. They're going to reap the whirlwind. You know, God says, I will bless those that bless you. I will curse those that curse you. So what I'm saying is <clears throat> anybody that is trying to come against us and trying to cause division and sow seeds of discord, Right now, I'm bound to that in God's name, and I'm also praying that the same is that calamity that these people are trying to bring towards us, that God pays it back to them a hundredfold, not tenfold, but a hundredfold, because, like I said, we're not on here for that. What we're here for is to create good content and build each other up. We're all about support. We're all about love. So, y'all want to see, I done went back to the spirit. You know what? Let me get off here, because I swear, the longer I stay on here... Y'all, <laughs> y'all, y'all about to send me into a preaching frenzy, and, and mm, I, I ain't trying to do that one today. All right, so that was the uh, very first tabloids and trending topics with T for 2016. Hopefully next week, and because it's you know coming off the new year, because last week there wasn't a whole lot, and right now coming off of the new year, really not a whole lot of juicy information. Oh, yeah, he said, touching on my nose, he doing prophets and all. Yeah, yes, he did. Yes, he did. <clears throat> Here's the thing with all other YouTubers, it's one of those things where they are more than welcome to join us. Like I said, we don't know who's hosting the next one. But whoever's hosting it, like I said, if they don't say anything, I'll pretty much put it out there that this person is hosting it. And they just got to contact whoever is going to be hosting it. But the reality is there could only be four people on the screen at a time. And, I mean, people can always tag in and out and all that good jazz. But, again, thank you guys so much for...
I'm at the end now, but thank you guys so much for watching. The replay will be available. Uh, like I said, this will also be up on YouTube uh, later on today. Like I said, don't forget that I'm going to do the Real Housewives of Atlanta recap and the Workout New York. You guys can check out the blabs that have we've already done on uh, my YouTube page, Spilling All the Tea. Don't forget, Squeaky Jones is going to upload the blab from last night. If not, to, hopefully it's up between today and tomorrow. But like I said, it, it's over five and a half hours of footage that she has to edit down. So... Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Trust me when I say I love all of you. Y'all could have been doing anything this Sunday morning, but y'all chose to hang out with me. So, like I said, you guys stay blessed. I can't wait to see you guys next week. Have a blessed day. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.